guys, I'm Stephanie, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about Li Qiu, also known as the beginning of autumn, and several cute things about Li Qiu that you may not know. In China, there will be a wave of heat coming right back at you when you are less noticed, and that we call them as Qiu Lao Hu. Lao Hu is ferocious, so you can imagine that heat is totally gonna catch you off your guards. We call them Qiu Lao Hu. The other thing people do is they usually have a watermelon the day before Li Qiu, which is today. Look what I was doing yesterday. Oh, by the way, that watermelon is so good. Watermelon is called Siwa in Chinese. My mom loves Siwa. I love it as well. We can't live without Siwa in the summertime. Anyway, that we call them Yao Qiu or Ken Qiu, literally means bite autumn. Mm, that's interesting. <laughs> the other thing you might find very interesting, especially for those foodies, is that you totally got a solid reason to gain a few pounds and have whatever you want at the autumn time. Why do I say that? Because we have a phrase to save your ass. We say Tie Qiu Biao. Because I don't know about you guys, I mean, I often felt a lack of appetite in the hot summer. Maybe because the weather is too hot and or humid, or whatever. And in autumn time, in Chinese culture, or it's customary for us Chinese people to eat more food. And for those non-vegetarians, that food usually means meat. So we call them tie qiu biao. Now biao is literally just means fat. Tie means add on, qiu is autumn, so that autumn fat you got, here is a great excuse in Chinese culture. The last thing is about qiu shu. This is more of a traditional thing. People pray for a good harvest on this very day, and that is very easy to understand. We still hope for that, despite we have all the technologies, we still always, always hope for a great harvest in the autumn time. I'm Stephanie, I'll see you next time.